So I'm going to have a go at the next Codility exercise. It's in Lesson 8, Leader, and it's the first task, and it's called Dominator. So let's get straight into it. Okay, an array A consisting of N integers is given. The Dominator of the array is the value that occurs in more than half of the elements of A. So for example, consider this array with 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, minus 1, 3, and 3. The dominator of A is 3 because it occurs in 5 out of 8 elements of A, namely those with the indexes 0, 2, 4, 6, and 7. And 5 is more than half of 8. So write a function that given an array A consisting of n integers returns the index of any element of array A in which the dominator of A occurs. The result should return minus 1 if array A doesn't have a dominator. So for example, given that array, the function may return 0, 2, 4, 6 or 7 as explained above. So we need to return the index, any index of one of the values, the dominator values. Okay, write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. N is an integer within the range of zero and 100,000. So that's the length of the array. And each element in the array is an integer within the integer range. Okay, so I think the way to do this is just going to be to keep a track of how many of each value we've seen. We we, we don't know um, whether we're going to have a dominator until we unless we loop through every value. Um, as soon if we as soon as we count the number of digits for any one digit which exceeds half of the length of the array, we know that it's the dominator. There can be only one dominator because it has to be more than half the length of the array. So I think that this is pretty straightforward. Um, so I'm going to make a hash map. Um, of integer values, this first integer is going to be the value and this is going to be the number of times that we've seen that value. So I'm going to call this counters and I'm just going to loop through each value in the array and I'm going to say if If counters contains key A, if not counters contains key A, counters put A comma one. So this is the first time we've seen this value. Else counters put the key and counters get the key plus one. So there I'm really adding one onto the counter value. So this is going to loop through and if any value, um, whatever value we see, the first time we see it, we're going to put one in the map. And the next time we see it, we're going to increment the value in the map by one. Then whatever happens, if counters get the value is greater than a dot length over two, then this is a dominator. And we've got to return the index of it. Um, so I'm going to change this to the old type of for loop in i equals zero i is less than a dot length i plus plus 
pan int a equals ai. So now we've got the index, so we can just return the index. Um, what did it say to do if we don't have a dominator? Probably return minus one. Um, the function should return minus one if the array doesn't have a dominator. So if we get to the end of here and we haven't returned the dominator index, we'll return minus one. And I think that that's it. So I'm not even going to put the um, test method here. I'll just test it directly in Codility. Uh, I need to import hash map and map. And I run the tests. And that works. I'll just submit that. I think that that's a pretty straightforward task. So let's see how that does. And 100%. So that's a pretty straightforward task there. We're just keeping track in a hash map of how many times we've seen each of the values. And as soon as we see one of the values more than uh, we, we'll, the, the count of the values that we've seen is higher than um, half of the length of the array, then we know that's a dominator, so we return the index. Um, it probably threw some large, large pyramid, large decreasing plateau, um, 100,000 values. Uh, yeah, we would expect Codility to throw some pretty extreme cases in there, but quite straightforward task. So that's my solution to Codility's dominator task. Thanks for watching.